Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m., where we get together and talk about the code before we go out and fight the good fight. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one today. So we're looking at outlet boxes, and we're talking about a flush mount installation, meaning that it's inside of the wall or cavity, okay, and we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to land somewhere. Do we have to be flush with the installation? Can it be recessed? Let's talk about it now. And this is not talking about a surface mount situation where the entire installation is going to be surface mounted. So let's talk about a flush mount installation. So when you're dealing with a flush mount installation, we're going to be looking at it like this. Let's look at a specific question here. Outlet boxes, when installed in concrete, concrete, gypsum, plaster, or other non-combustible material shall be, set, shall be set back no farther than blank from the finished surface. So uh, we find ourselves in 314.20. So what the code states is if that your box is being installed and finished, so it's flush mount, with a non-combustible material, drywall, gypsum, plaster, concrete, anything that's non, you know, considered non-combustible, you are allowed a one quarter inch grace on your box. So your box is allowed to be set in up to one quarter of an inch and it still be street legal. Okay, so with that being said, what about if we're dealing with wood, paneling, anything else that falls in that combustible category, what's the score on it? Well, that same code uh, goes down to read a little bit further and it says that those installations must be flush. So if you're dealing with a combustible material, whether it's in the ceiling, wall, floor, whatever, those installations, the box must finish flush. So that means flush or protruding, the code states, meaning it can be out farther than flush, but it must be flush with the scenario. Now, there are other codes that have, you know, something to say about this, but this is going to be for the outlet box itself, okay? Not specifically talking about the device. This is talking about the outlet box. If you are on anything that is non-combustible, it can be up to a quarter inch inset. If it is combustible material, it must be flush or protruding. I'm the Electrical Code Coach, and let's get to it. Hey guys, before we get off here, I just want to remind you that you can do it. Just keep grinding, keep pushing. You can do this. You got this. I've got your back. Let's get to it.